you're looking at folks is one of my favorite yucca species that's a yucca gloriosa and this is growing in our garden on salt spring island we have many of these uh, yuccas they bloom nicely here and uh, they grow quite tall a uh, very sturdy trunk on them uh, lost one in the winter it broke down in the lower garden the top snapped off in the snow in february but what you do you just stick them in the ground and they reroot again and grow and the trunk that was left will re-sprout so really dangerous yucca so you probably don't want to plant it too close to walkways like i did here this one's got really sharp points on it and it's got sharp edges as well so some people like to take nail clippers and just take these points off you can see they're really dangerous you could easily poke an eye out with one of those suckers so got to be careful around them um, the flowers on them are spectacular like all the other yuccas and you can see this one has a nice trunk it's growing with some variegated yucca gloriosa and uh, there's another one there lots of yuccas in our gardens here I think we have over a hundred yuccas in our gardens and uh, this one's growing nicely with camerops this one I grew from seed and then there's a Washingtonia filibusta and uh, there's a butia over there so growing very well in our uh, upper uh, studio garden here very drought tolerant plant it's growing under big uh, fir trees so unfortunately those fir trees put a lot of roots into the soil that dry things out so it's actually a good choice for this area it gets dry there's some self-seeded arbutus babies in there big hundred foot plus arbutus trees there all right folks thanks for watching cheers